Uh, welcome. Well, men are finished. Hmm. I, for one, hope not. <laughs> but there does seem to be a lot of evidence that we are. Uh, traditional male attributes like competitiveness, aggression, and risk-taking are discouraged in, uh, in classrooms and uh, derided in popular culture. As a society, our values seem to be shifting toward the traditional uh, feminine virtues of empathy, cooperation, emotional intelligence. Increasingly, men are not taking the responsibility of parenting, and women are proceeding on their own. At the top of the cognitive uh, pyramid, women are now a majority at our universities, graduate schools of law, business, and medicine. And at the bottom, the high-paid jobs men used to hold in construction have vanished with the financial crisis, and those in factories have fallen victim to globalization. Men are overrepresented in prisons and in the ranks of the unemployed, and underrepresented in higher education. Project these trends forward for a couple of decades, and the future looks pretty bleak for men. On the other hand, and there always is another hand in our debates, men still hold positions of overwhelming dominance as CEOs of our largest companies and financial institutions, as creators of large-scale entrepreneurial successes, the Microsofts, Oracles, Googles, Facebooks, as top elected officials in both the federal and state government, as the most influential artists and writers, as scientists with breakthroughs worthy of Nobel Prizes, and on and on. Um, so where you come out tonight on this question, are men finished? The answer may depend on how you interpret the question. What we meant, but couldn't say in three provocative words, is whether we're at a tipping point where women are likely to achieve in the future the same sort of dominance that men have had in the past or whether the changes in the relative position of men and women are significant, perhaps, but hardly fundamental. Well, we have an extraordinary group of panelists to help you make that decision, and it's now my privilege to turn the evening over to them and to our moderator, John Donvan. Thank you, Jeffrey.